everybody, this is Praxis, and today is the winter solstice at the time of this recording. If you look behind you, the sun is just setting on the shortest day of the year, uh, which is kind of good news because every day from here on in gets longer. We're headed back towards spring and summer already, although we, we still, got, still got a fair bit of winter, I guess, left since winter technically begins today here in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, what I'm working on today is the bookshelves still. Uh, I'd like to kind of get those up so I can start getting you know, things stored on them and get it out of the other rooms. And uh, to make that happen, what I'm working on are these uh, three-quarter inch boards cut into three-quarter inch long strips. And these are going to get attached to the wall and the back of the shelves are going to rest on here. And then the shelves will kind of get uh, attached with screws to the wall as well. So I've got to make quite a few of these. I've got some numbers, but it's like... 30 or 40 of these strips that I've got to make. So I'm milling them up here because, you know, for the winter solstice, it's actually a pretty decent day. It's above freezing. Water is dripping off the roofs and things. It's not windy. So it's a nice day for working outside. Kind of beautiful. I don't know if you can catch the uh, the light in these white pine trees. They're kind of glistening up behind you as the, as the sun sets back there. Uh, in terms of us actually getting in, uh, we've got one plumbing inspection left and one final inspection after that. Uh, I contacted the plumbers this morning. Uh, they had told me they wanted to be the intermediary, like have everything go through them to uh, talk, well, these are fogging up, uh, to, um, to get in touch with the plumbing inspector. Uh, and they told me this morning, they're out. They're not even going to try anymore. Even though it is technically in their contract that they're going to manage all that stuff. I don't really care. They've managed everything else really, really poorly. Uh, managing, contacting the building, uh, the plumbing inspector has been on par with all the rest of their work. Uh, they were nice enough to give me the contact information on, of the plumbing inspector, and I called them, and within 10 minutes we were having a conversation. I told them I'm here all day. They said they thought they could swing by this afternoon, although it was like you always hear with every contractor. They're, they always say, I'm working on something this morning. If that goes smoothly, I'll be able to swing by in the afternoon. It kind of almost, it, my experience is it almost never goes smoothly for them, and they kind of never show up, which is fine. Like, if you're a layperson trying stuff out, it's like you don't know where, like, the crazy stuff's going to be. You don't know where uh, the curveballs are going to be. But I know for myself, as a photographer, as I did it for many years and I got more professional about it, I was able to tell when it was going to be easy and when it wasn't. <laughs> so I don't know why it's so difficult for people to tell whether or not their job's going to be easy or hard or whatever. I don't know their profession. Um, hopefully they do. Um, but uh, there's a chance that the plumbing inspector could come by any moment now and uh, do the plumbing inspection. If that does happen before I leave today, what I'm going to do is tonight tell the building inspector that we're done, we're ready for you. And he's been so responsive. I mean, it could be as early as tomorrow that he swings by, does the final inspection, and then we're good, as long as everything's good. So we'll see. Sun has set on the shortest day of the year here. I'm going to finish some of this stuff up, wait as long as I can for the plumbing inspector, leave the place unlocked, and I'll text him before I leave and let him know, place is unlocked. Come on by if you're able. That's it. Thanks for watching.